Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Hometown. I'm Rich Noonan. We've got a great show for you from historic St. Peter's Village here in Chester County, Pennsylvania. First up on Hometown, did you ever want to chuck your job and just open a business that you love? Well, a Westchester man did just that. He opened Sugartown Smoke Specialties. It's a fabulous business that's all about taste. And then that I'll have tonight heated up to $3.50 for $3.50 for about 10 minutes. Okay. Hey. Slice them up. Ellie Kennedy is one of the many who loves Sugartown smoke specialties, be it the smoked diver scallops, smoked Norwegian salmon, or smoked pheasant. I love the food. It's different, it's exciting, it's got more zip. And I find that guests feel like they're getting something special. And that's, you know, nice when you're having people over that it's not a normal, you know, home cooked meal or whatever. It's wonderful. That is music to the ears of Sugartown smoke specialties owner Scott Hattersley. While his retail spot jumps at the Lancaster County Farmer's Market in Wayne, his team is busy in the very high-tech Sugartown Specialty Smokehouse. If you could only smell all those gorgeous duck breasts, simply incredible. As the temperature is checked in the duck, the smoke diver scallops are packed in another room. Just another day at one of the most respected smoked foods companies in this part of the country. Sugartown Smoke Specialties is the brainchild of a guy who was well prepared to run a business but never thought that business would be in smoked foods. I uh, graduated from uh, Franklin Pierce College in New Hampshire uh, with a double major of economics and financial management. Uh, once I graduated, I um, actually got into the water treatment business, uh, which was, was very interesting. And myself and a number of partners did a spin-off on that, uh, which was very successful. Uh, and about that time, my uh, girlfriend, now wife, gave me the small kettle smoker. And I've always loved to hunt and fish and cook, and uh, started experimenting with some pheasants that I had harvested and some trout that I had caught, uh, and giving them out to friends and, and relatives. Uh, one thing led to another and people came back and said maybe you should look to, into whether this is really a, a viable business. Uh, and here we are, 10 years later. Scott's little cottage industry has grown every year and today Sugartown Smoke Specialties supplies both the wholesale and retail market with a wide variety of smoked foods. Scott has come a long way from the days when he was smoking out as landlord with that little kettle smoker. Generates a smoke and then we can What's unique about this is we have the capability of not just hot smoking and fully cooking product, we can cold smoke product. In other words, um, we can make a product that has no heat applied to it. Most, most smoke houses cannot do that. Amy Temperley has been at Sugartown for nine years. She says she loves the variety of the job. One day she's smoking duck breasts, another it's portobello mushroom caps. They look beautiful, Amy. Oh, thank you. It is a wonderful, wonderful product. The duck breasts are one of the hottest sellers here. They are a special treat that most people rarely try. But once you've tasted these succulent hickory smoked duck breasts, you are hooked. Sugartown Smoke Specialties has a devoted following of regular retail customers. They come to the farmer's market in Wayne or visit the Sugartown website at smokefoods.com. The majority of the business, however, comes from distributors, the people who really know quality food. They supply the finest restaurants, country clubs, and caterers in the region with Sugartown Smoke Specialties. Scott says that's great, but he loves the immediate reaction he gets from his customers at the farmer's market. It's nice, it's unusual, it's something different from the ordinary things that you eat from day to day and week in and week out. And since I cook a lot, I'm always looking to have something that's different and unusual. So he'll definitely be a stop for me on a regular basis when I come over here, you know. So yeah, I like it a lot. We have a lot of people that make up variety packs uh, for family members to try different products. They use them at parties. Uh, we do whole sides of salmon for platters, Christmas parties, office parties, things like that. As any thorough journalist would, I asked Scott for a taste test, and what a test it was. All right, Scott, we've got a great spread of just some of your products. Let's start from the far left, which is something with beautiful baked cheese on the top. What do we have here? Well, Rich, this is the smoked portobello mushroom, which has become wow. a really, really popular product for us. And basically all we've done is uh, wilted some spinach, 
Uh, we've got a little uh, fresh roasted red pepper that we've laid on top of that. There was a little bit of uh, garlic that we uh, mixed in with the, uh, the spinach. Right. And then on top of that, we just put some feta cheese and stuck it under the broiler for just a few minutes just to brown the cheese a little bit. I've had these smoked portobello, Scott, and I can't tell, you know, viewers how great they are. It's just such a unique product. Who would have thought of smoking a portobello mushroom? It's, it's a great product and I'll tell you what, we, we do them primarily for a company in southern Chester County and they distribute them to 27 different states and uh, year to date I think we're up to about 28 tons of portobello mushroom caps. Unbelievable. It's a lot of mushrooms. This is also a real hot seller at Sugartown and what do we have? Uh, this is our smoked duck breast. Uh, right. This is actually what they call a magray. Uh, comes from a duck called uh, a moulard duck, which is a huge duck. It's actually the size of a Not goose. a mallard duck. Not a mallard, a moulard, right. M-O-U-L-A-R-D. Uh, and they're, they're raised primarily for foie gras. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a wonderful, wonderful product. This is actually the product that uh, we filmed earlier coming out of the smokehouse. And you, you know, for people who aren't sure how to do this stuff, this is really, virtually everything you make is finger food. I mean, Absol you can eat everything, pick it up and eat it. I Absolutely, and, and what we like to promote is the fact that you open a bag, everything's fully cooked, it's ready to go. Right. Uh, minimal this, preparation. I think about stuff like this for the beach. I mean, I know the holidays are a great time because there's just, I mean, a spread like this is awesome. But all year round, your products are really a neat thing to pack away. Aren't Ab they? Absolutely. The, the one thing that people do need to remember is that they are perishable. Right. Uh, so you don't want to throw it in the back of your station wagon or your SUV and head down to Avalon. Right. Uh, you know, throw it in a cooler. Uh, you know, a little bit of responsibility goes a long way and it's going to ensure that you enjoy the product that much more. Looking for something different? How about some smoked pheasant or quail? The diver scallops are sweet and smoky, perfect finger food. Great heated in a creamy white sauce over pasta or wrapped with bacon and a water chestnut as an awesome hors d'oeuvre. Sugartown smokes Arctic char and trout several different ways. That is actually Sugartown's flagship product. That is the first product I developed 10 years ago and we call it a Hungarian style smoked salmon. Uh, the reason that we call it that is we sprinkle it with different herbs and seasonings mm. and then we finish it with a sweet Hungarian paprika uh, mm. before it goes into the smokehouse. And as I said, it's the first product I developed and 10 years later it's still my best seller. That is incredible. I mean, it's, it's the seasoning that does it. How long do you marinate this or is it it's, a it's, dry rub? It's, no, it's, we actually brine it. Uh, it's brined for a minimum of 48 hours I see. Uh, under strict refrigeration. Uh, and then we, we bring it out of the brine, we rinse it, um, and then we sprinkle the different herbs and seasonings. So let's say I'm having a, a big bash mm -hmm. and I want to get a whole salmon. Or what? Uh, obviously you customize. You're a small outfit, you can customize. Sure, absolutely. Just call ahead and say, hey Scott, this is what I'm looking to do. You'll Can give me we, some tips, abso right? Absolutely, and we, we do have uh, uh, recipe ideas uh, on our website, smokedfoods.com, uh, or if people just want to go ahead and give us a call, uh, you know, we'd be more than happy to accommodate them as far as suggestions. Scott is currently working on an agreement to export his smoked foods to Asia. The unique taste that comes with a special hand preparation of small lots has been a big hit during test marketing overseas. But, I mean, you get everything from scallops to duck, um, sam I mean, everyone's used to salmon, so to give them smoked scallops, I think, is a little more special. And they have different types of, uh, the, you know, from the lemon pepper, and you can just play, do a, a platter, and have like three or four different kinds of salmon, and it's fun. So everyone compares and figures out what your favorite is, and it's just, it's having fun with food. And it's having fun with a career change. Scott sure is happy his wife bought him that little smoker a decade ago. It changed his life. It's great in the morning with eggs. Oh, okay. You need to enjoy what you do. Um, you know, anybody that's stuck in a situation where they don't want to be, uh, they, should, they should get out. Uh, I've always said that, that when the day comes that I become, Sugartown becomes a, a cookie cutter company, or we don't have a good time, I'm going to lock the door and walk away. Don't expect that anytime soon. There's a lot more smoking to be done at Sugartown Smoke Specialties. Take it from me, you will love Scott's products. Great for the holidays, the beach, or just an easy special meal. You can order online at smokefoods.com or call the toll free number at 800 432 1039 or stop by the Lancaster County Farmers Market located on Route 30 right there in Wayne. Tell them you saw them on.